Hey guys, it's Alex again. So applications are due in a month. We've been getting a lot of questions about that. The design challenge was released last week and I got a question from Christine Lee from Australia and she asked, well what if my library doesn't have a fab center and I can't get the parts for the design challenge. So in that case, if, if you live in an area that doesn't have a fab center, just uh, send us an email and we will ship you the parts. Uh, we want everybody to be able to participate in this. And got a lot of questions also about the portfolio. So, so first keep in mind, you've been building up this portfolio for 12 years. We didn't expect you to think about being an engineer when you were in kindergarten. Uh, some, some of you may have done that, and that's fantastic. But a lot of us you know, came to this later in life also. We didn't realize that engineering was a thing until maybe one of our mentors in high school told us about it. Or even now, it's like, ah, that sounds like fun. I might check it out, but I'm also looking at you know, med school or theater or whatever it is. Um, so this portfolio is really, we're looking at that to get a sense of who you are, how you progress, what kind of projects you've taken on, and how you've approached them more so than what they are. Uh, it doesn't need to be all technical. Uh, we're also looking for leadership ability, communication ability, service ability, because all those things are really, really important in engineering also. And 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 one of the other things that admissions departments do is that when we see your portfolio, if we think you're also going to be a good fit for other schools, we will point you to particular people in those schools because a, a separate from high school, unlike high school, college, it's really, really easy to mix and match classes from different institutions. So you might have an advisor here at Donovan, but take most of your classes in some of the other schools nearby or telecommute to classes across the country or even in other countries. Uh, for instance, my friend Tony is also uh, a legal engineering major at Donovan, but he wants to focus on chemical research and you know intellectual property, making new materials, making new chemicals, compounds, and so he's actually in Michigan right now taking chemical engineering classes at Michigan State, and he telecommutes back here once a week to meet with his advisor at Donovan, and he's going to be back here next year to complete his senior capstone on campus. So there are these sorts of blended learning opportunities and that, the, that kind of thing is an option. And by looking at your portfolio and helping you hook up with individual faculty members will help you figure out what your pathway is and where you might want to do it. So you might actually be based at some other school, but do research or take classes here. And um, oh, Fun history notes. So in in my uh, history of American patent class with Dr. Nathan, he was talking last week about uh, standardized testing. So so apparently back in the day, you know, like decades ago, there used to be these tests at, like they were called S uh, standardized as achievement or academic S A somethings and. Uh, I, I forgot the other one, but there used to be these, these really big tests, like standardized kind of multiple choice things, and every high school kid in the country that was applying to college would take them, and they would be given this number, and then they would use those to apply to schools, and we were all kind of confused, we were like, wow, that, did you really do that? And Dr. Nathan said, yeah, that's what he had to do when he applied for college. And uh, he didn't have the portfolios back then, but uh, so... Small history note, uh, but the portfolio really is the most important component of your first round application, and then the second round is more of the interviews and interactions, and we'll talk more about that in our next flag. I'm running out of time here, but for those of you that are coming to our November campus preview weekend, next weekend, make sure you stop by the phone booth. It's a really fun place to let your parents get distracted so you can go and talk with people because they come by and they go, oh, I remember that film when I was growing up, and they stay. So I uh, hope to see you next weekend, and for those that can't make it, we're going to have our usual chat here Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you have any questions about applications or want feedback on your portfolios or anything like that, uh, feel free to get in touch. You know how to you know, send a little reply here. And hopefully we'll see your application coming in in a month.